so hello guys what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel it's me your girl barista neze and this is nezeville nigerian afro pop superstar david adedeji adeliki is a 31 year old musician songwriter and producer an indigene of osho state Davido, as he is popularly called, was born in Atlanta, USA in November of 1992. He was born to the family of Mr. Adedeji Adeleke and Mrs. Veronica Imade Adeleke. Call him the baby of the house. Davido is the last child of his family and he has five older siblings. There was absolutely nothing humble or little about Davido's beginnings. Born with a silver spoon, fork and knife, Davido came from a family of wealth, affluence and influence. His dad was a highly successful business tycoon and his mother was a lecturer at a Nigerian university. Davido was born in Georgia, Atlanta. His parents brought him back to Nigeria to have his foundational education and upbringing under their watch and supervision. Davido received the very best education possible in Nigeria. He attended the British International School in Lagos for his primary and secondary education. And in 2008, when he completed secondary school, his parents arranged for him to further his education abroad. They secured admission for him at Oakwood University in Alabama, United States. He was to study business administration. His destiny was very far from a business administrator. Shortly after Davido started schooling, he began experiencing a surge in feelings of discontentment, feelings of unfulfillment, feelings of despair. He understood the importance of focusing, getting good grades and doing his parents proud. But the more he tried to concentrate, the more he absolutely hated what he was doing. The more he lost interest, the more he wanted different. He had only one passion music if i tell you say i love you oh. you see a lot of nigerian musicians embrace music and back on music career as a means to escape poverty but not david he came from money he wasn't looking for what would put food on his table he was comfortable both in terms of needs and wants but he genuinely loved music a love that was impossible to suppress. After trying and struggling and trying and trying without success to combine music with his education, he made the big and risky decision to drop out of school and pursue his musical career full time. The video didn't start out as a recording artist. His first love was music production. But along the line, he delved into making and recording his own music. And once he did, there was no going back. The video returned to Nigeria in 2011 and he came with a big bang. He released his first debut single back when and it was closely followed by Damizuru. And then he proceeded to release his first studio album, Omo Baba Olowo Obio, which featured hit singles like Ekuro in it. <laughs> Come on, sing along with me. Ekuro, I like what we are Come on. It had major acts like Two Face, NATO C in that album. It was an explosive one, widely accepted, highly recognized, totally successful. In 2013, he released hit singles like Go Bay and Skelewu. <laughs> oh my god, Skelewu was a major hit. Guys, let me know in the comment section which is your favorite Davido song of all time. Start to drop your comments in the comment section. And then the next year in 2015, he released Fans Me, where he featured American superstar Mick Mill. Oh my god, this guy was unstoppable. The next year again, it was If, <laughs> If I Tell You Say I Love You. 
Hey, your body, your money, not my own, yo. Hey, come on. Thirty billion for the account, yo. Thirty billion for the account, yo. And it was closely followed by fall, guys. It was a hit back to back for Davido, and it seemed that though he could never make any bad song, every single beat he laid his hands on automatically turns to gold. His achievements were enormous. His song Fall was the first video by a Nigerian artist to ever hit 100 million views here on YouTube. He is the first African artist to ever sell out the O2 Arena in London. He has a BET award, an MTV award, a Cora award, a Ben TV award, a Channel O award, eight Headies awards and countless 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 others he is the most followed african artist on instagram owns and still owns a private jet even before he turned 30. he has an array of luxurious properties scattered all over the world and in addition he is a brand ambassador to mtn martel munchit infinix one x bet travel better viva detergent Puma, Pepsi, Guinness, Close Up, and a lot, a lot, a lot of others. He has made history with his groundbreaking performance at the World Cup held in Qatar last year. Guys, the video is not your average 20 something year old. He is a multi billionaire, super talented, highly successful. He can be said, to be the biggest African musical artist today. Well, it is worthy of note to mention that David Doe, in a bid to honor his father's wishes, that all his children must be university graduates, agreed to go back to school. Just for him, the music department was quickly established at Babcock University, where his dad is a founding member and chairman of its board of trustees. He enrolled on part-time basis as the first and only student of the music department in 2012. He also graduated as the only convocating student in the whole of his department. Fellas, the video is not called Omo Baba Olowo for nothing. Amy, Omo Baba Olowo. Describing all of these rich boy privileges and achievements, one may think that, oh, life has been a bed of roses for Davido. But no, Davido has indeed gotten his own fair share of pain and trauma. The first life blow that was dealt on Davido was the loss of his mother. If you know anything about moms and their last bonds, you would understand how inseparable they are. David though being the last born of his family has recounted severally how extremely close and bonded he was with his mother. He admitted that due to his father's extremely busy nature, he didn't have a very close relationship with his dad. Most of the parental relationship he had was with his mother. David Doe was only 10 years old when his mother suddenly slumped and passed. She slumped and died of a cardiac arrest right on the 40th birthday of his father. He said that the untimely demise of his mother has affected him in no small measure and that it's even led him to becoming a defiant in his teenage years. I'm close to my mom. Right. Fully, I'm a mommy's boy. Like, yeah. I didn't even send my dad. He was so busy. Like, it was my mom that was coming to school, checking my grades, all of that. So, when she died, it was just crazy just being with my dad. My teenage years was really rough for my dad. The first scandal involving the video was this one. I'm sure you all remember this iconic pics. So, in 2012, the video had performed at the university in Ghana, after which he had hooked up with one of the students. Some claim that she is 17 years old while others say she is 18, but that photograph was leaked by the student herself on social media. How proud of herself she must have been. The intimate picture showed the video lying exhausted beside this lady. And trust me, it wasn't rocket science to unravel what exactly 
had just taken place. That picture spread like wildfire. <laughs> the days of infrared. <laughs> the picture spread like wildfire and a lot of people were very disappointed that Davido would lose his guard and allow himself to be filmed in such a very vulnerable and precarious position. Sonia, the student, was suspended by the university on account of that incident. His second major scandal came a few years down the line in 2015. Davido had officially begun his crazy expedition down the road of baby mamaism. The 21-year-old star had met and impregnated 27-year-old Sophia Momodu, who is the niece of renowned journalist Dele Momodu. She bore him a daughter, which he named Imade after his mother, but their relationship was very quick to turn sour. He had described Sophia as a fling, a headbutting casual lover who was many years older than him and was able to exploit and manipulate his youth and naivety. A few months after Imade was born, Davido and Sophia had the most explosive and embarrassing fights on the internet. Sophia took to social media to allege that Davido had lured her to come with her child to his sister's house. And when she did, the baby who was still breastfeeding was forcefully taken away from her. And all attempts to recover her baby proved abortive as the last time she went to the house, she was kicked out, battered, and thrown away like a common thief. She said that the plan of Davido and his family was to keep her away from her baby forever, for good. And that even the petition that she had made to the Nigerian Immigration Service, her baby was about to be smuggled out of Nigeria without her knowledge or consent. In response to this, Davido spat fire. He alleged that Sophia was not in any position to have custody of his child. He said that his daughter had been badly affected by cannabis which she got through breastfeeding and that her mom Sophia will constantly abandon the child and go wild passing and clubbing. He described Sophia as a woman that could never be his wife as she was never qualified for this status, describing her background as very dissimilar from his and that she had very paltry education and an equally diminished physical attributes. <laughs> Guys, it was a very explosive heated fight and that is why even till today, Sophia still gets accused and fingered for many things that happened to Davido. We will get to that. But still, Davido didn't learn any lesson as to the drama that can come from baby mamas. Because only one year after Davido had his first child Imade with Sophia, he met an impregnated and Atlanta-based lady called Amanda. And she bore him his second child, another girl, whom they named Haley. He seemed to be getting extracurricular coaching from the legendary Two-Face Edivia himself. Now aside from this women issue and drama, which many people may accept is very common amongst men in his kind of profession, Davido had an even more serious trouble hovering around him. The ill luck of losing people he loves to death. After losing his treasured mom, to the cold hands of death. Within a period of only four years, Davido lost a whooping six people close to him, friends and crew members, under different circumstances and at different times. First, it was Tabo, his very close friend, who many described as his best friend. Then next, it was his record label DJ, DJ Olu, followed by another friend, Amechi. Next, David took to Instagram to mourn the passing of his very good friend, Ahmed. Then again, it was Tunji, aka Tijani, his bosom friend and personal bodyguard for 11 whole years. After Tijani was Obama DMW, his close body and manager, the pain that comes with death was a pain that he couldn't stop feeling. It was just too much for him. In all of 
these incidences involving David, there was one which was the most eventful. One that drove the media most crazy. One that revealed the side of the video that people had never seen. One that would come with a lot of joy, laced with bounds of pain. And that is his relationship with a lady called Choma Roland, AKA Chef Chi. The video and Choma met in 2013. They attended the same university, Babcock University. They were introduced by a mutual friend and began dating in 2015. How did you meet David? Eh? Met him in school. Met him when I was in school. Yes. Through so. my okay, my friend used to date his friend. <laughs> you see, Davido had met and dated all types and kinds and classes and races of women in his lifetime. But Choma stood out. There was something sweet, pure, homely and natural about the young lady. At first glance, Choma gave the aura that was totally different from Davido's exes. Her natural dark skin, cool and calm demeanor, very reserved nature, had people see her in this wife material fashion. Choma was the first and only woman Davido had gone public with. He would post photos and videos of both of them loving up, goofing around, cooking, on dates. He lavished her with very expensive gifts, took her on vacations to Paris and Dubai, shopping sprees, designer clothes, exposed her to the billionaire lifestyle. She would join him on his music tour all around the world. And on this particular one in London, she was photographed at the back scene, backstage, supporting and encouraging him. Choma was said to have even dropped out of school to meet the many demands of being Davido's woman, a move that a lot of people condemned and faulted her over. Davido even took a step to introduce her to his own family, a move he had never done for any of his previous girlfriends. They were spotted and photographed everywhere together, parties, events, clubs, dates, private jets, at home, in the kitchen, everywhere together. They were completely inseparable. Davido, a man with a reputation for being extremely benevolent, surely outdid himself on the 1st of May 2018, which was Choma's 23rd birthday. He threw her a lavish birthday party and at the end of the party, he presented her with a car gift, a Porsche valued at 45 million naira. Oh my god, guys, it was so romantic. Goosebumps were on everybody's body. We're all going crazy, guys. It was so sweet to watch. And there and then at the party, the video gave his commitment to always love Choma. <laughs> Tears of joy. Well, he didn't stop there. The video is one that would go all out when he finds love. He wrote and dedicated a song to Choma called Assurance. <laughs> assurance, oh no, assurance, assurance, yeah, assurance, Choma, my lover. And Choma, of course, played lead in the musical video. He referred to her as my wife on social media and everybody was like, what the hell are you waiting for? Get married already! Well, on the beautiful night of September 12th of 2019, Davido took Chioma on a dinner date at a restaurant in London and he popped the big question. And oh my god, Choma was so over the roof. She was like, yes, yes, I will marry you. And then they melted into each other's embrace, kissing and cuddling. And when the video broke the news online, followers and fans went berserk. They were all yelling, we have a wedding to plan. We have a wedding to plan. The video revealed that the wedding will hold the very next year in 2020. Having been fully assured, Chioma went ahead, confident, and took in. She bore a child for Davido, a son, his first son. He was elated. He named him David Junior Ifani Adiliki. He was a gorgeous, 
beautiful baby. The apple of his parents' eyes. The bonds that held them together. Their joy. Their happiness. It is worthy of note that it is in the course of the relationship that Davido and Choma had. That Davido had fathered his second child, Haley, from the Atlanta-based woman called Amanda. So David's son, Ifani, was his third child. And Choma was his third baby mama. So since Davido had announced that his marriage to Chioma will hold in 2020, the online in-laws, online elders, and online stakeholders were cheering up for the event. We all had our outfits sewn, waiting for the date to be communicated to us. They couldn't understand why it was taking so long. Come on, Davido, you got the money. You found your woman. She's bought you a child. What are you waiting for? Get this over with. It costs them deep vein thrombosis when news of Davido and Chioma's breakup filled the internet. It was a pain that the online in-laws could not bear. Davido and Chioma stopped being seen together, stopped being photographed together. She took away his engagement ring and to further give credibility to the rumors, Davido was photographed holding hands and vacationing at the Caribbean's with Instagram model Maya Yafai. It was such a shock to many people and the speculation began to fly around. Some people believed that it was Davido's fault that he must have started philandering and cheating on her and she couldn't bear it, she had to take a walk. While some others fingered Choma, saying that she was no longer that pure, natural, down-to-earth, homely woman. All those vibes were gone. She has now turned herself into those women, those set of women that Davido was tired of. That attraction that brought Davido to her in the first place, that calm, reserved, natural nature, she had blown away. Getting a BBL and acting all raunchy on social media must definitely have been the bone of contention. All speculation. Because Davido and Chioma in their usual fashion did not address the cause of their breakup. So life went on for the both of them. Choma went along with her cooking career and influencing on social media. While Davido continued doing what he was best at, making music and helping others. Yes, Davido is a kind man. One of a kind. And one of the events that stood out happened on his 29th birthday. Davido on this fateful day jokingly took to social media to ask everybody and anybody that he had helped to donate some money to him as a birthday gift. And then he posted his account number. Guys, if you have ever doubted Davido's influence, this incident will surely make you certain of it. Only a few hours of making that post, Davido's account had been credited with a whooping 100 million naira from different people high low mighty and in a few days only a few days what started like a joke saw a staggering amount of 200 million naira credited to davido's account by fans followers and colleagues davido is truly loved by all and sundry now, there were a million and one things that Davido could have done with the money. He could have bought cars, exotic cars. He could have bought lush properties. He could have invested it and reaped returns. He could have taken expensive vacations. But this man did the most unbelievable, unthinkable thing. He gathered the 200 million that had been donated to him and he added another 50 million naira making it 250 million, a quarter of a billion naira. And he donated all of it. Not a single dime kept for himself. He donated every penny of it, 250 million naira, to charity. Guys, Davido has always been a kind and generous person. But you see this one, this particular act of magnanimity, it puts Davido in a place where no other African entertainer can ever level up to. David, he truly is. A man after God's heart and a man after the people's heart. But guys, shortly after Davido and Choma split, he went ahead to father another child, another son, called Dawson, his fourth child, 
with his fourth baby mama called Larissa London. The child was born in 2020, the same year that the wedding of David and Choma was supposed to hold. Certainly the affair happened and the conception occurred in the heat of their relationship and engagement. And people speculated that maybe that could have just been the cause. Destiny, just as justice, can be delayed but not denied. And that saying was true for Davido and Chi because in 2022, the lovebirds were spotted again for the first time in years, thus sparking rumors that they had reconciled. They were seen together acting all cordial and jovial at the third birthday party they organized for their son, Ifani. And what seemed like a rumor was finally confirmed when they were spotted together lovingly, arm in arm, neck in neck, butt in butt, stomach in stomach. <laughs> they were back together. And the streets of social media was a carnival. People took to the streets of social media to celebrate. And this time, their passion and PDA was even more heated, more intense than it was even before their breakup. They were so into each other. And everybody heaved a sigh. Whew. Finally, hope nothing will stop these two from moving this ministration to the permanent site. But the greatest catastrophe of all was about to happen. On the 31st of October 2022, a day that will forever remain dark and unforgettable to millions of people all across the world. Davido and Chi had traveled for an event and had left their three-year-old son in the care of his nanny and seven other domestic staff. Seven. How the poor little three-year-old boy could manage to man over the watch of eight adults and found himself at the pool area and dives into the pool and drowned remains a mystery to everybody. When he was eventually found in the pool, he was rushed to the hospital and he was pronounced dead on arrival. Oh, when Chioma and Davido arrived at the hospital, Chioma collapsed upon hearing the news. Davido, on the other hand, literally ran mad. He tore his shirts, screaming and yelling, running into the streets. He had to be held bound by friends who accompanied him. Oh, it was painful. It was unbelievable. The world wept. The world mourned. It was a calamity. Chioma has stayed away from social media and public eyes ever since that incident up till date. The only news that was heard of her was when it was heard that she had gotten married to Davido, traditionally. Some say Davido did it so he can have a right to claim the remains of his son because in Igbo culture, when a man has not paid your bride price, your child or children dead or alive belong to your own family. Some say he did it to take ownership of his child so he could give him a befitting burial. Some say it was a mere consolation to Chioma to help her ease her pain. While others say that it was out of love and it was in the plans anyways. And it was Davido's way of reassuring her that with or without a child, their love will remain. Whatever the reason, whatever it is, these two lovebirds, despite how rocky life's journey has been to them, they are now husband and wife. Davido, on the other hand, also stayed away from social media since October, aside from his World Cup performance, until recently, on the 31st of March, when he made his comeback, releasing his fourth studio album, which he titled Timeless. And despite only a few weeks old, Timeless has become the highest chatting African album in US Apple music history. As Davido tries to push his new album and of course heal from the trauma that he just experienced, there has once again been new and disturbing allegations of him fathering yet another child with another woman, a fifth child from a fifth baby mama. The source revealed that Choma was so furious about it that she moved out of his house and that family 
are trying to mend and settle them. These, of course, are still speculation as they have not been confirmed yet. Despite being so, so many people have clamped down on Davido, accusing him of being so callous to have put trauma through such an emotional trauma shortly after she has lost her only child. While others are like, <laughs> the sooner you get realistic, the better for you. This man, Davido, <laughs> would never ever be satisfied with one woman. So it's either you deal with it or you step away. Do let me know what you think about that assertion and that advice to Choma. Do you really agree that she just has to turn a blind eye for the rest of her life and the rest of that marriage if she really wants to stay with that guy? Because monogamy and exclusivity is a demand that has proven to be impossible. Let me get your thoughts down in the comment section. So guys, that is the story of David Adedeji Adeliki, aka Davido, a man after God's heart and after the people's heart. Unarguably, Africa's biggest artist, bent but not broken, shaken but still standing strong. Do let us know down in the comment section which part of his story that you would like to react on. Thank you for watching. So guys, we finally come to the end of today's beautiful video. Don't forget to drop your comments in the comment section. If you're not subscribed yet, do subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Turn on your bell notifications and stay glued for we have so much more coming your way. It's me, your girl, Varista Neze. And this is Nezaville. I'll see you guys in my next one for now.